welcome to my views and news two new stories for you first one is from tegarai eritrea border ethiopia eritrea border yesterday sounds of gunshots sounds of gunfire were heard in shiraro and uh, it happened for hours so what is happening on tegarai eritrea border is ethiopian national defense force deployed what about eritrean military what about tegarai fighters is there deployment of tegarai fighters to in some capacity in or near shiraro we have detail for you several conspiracy theories are being launched about this gunfire Shiraro residents have confirmed that the gunfire went on for hours reportedly second new story is about resumption of aid to Ethiopia resumption of aid to Tigray in May USAID and World Food Program suspended delivery of all food items to Tigray then in June uh, World Food Program and USAID suspended Libya afforded to entire Ethiopia the two organizations leveled serious allegations about aid diversion aid smuggling aid theft in Ethiopia investigation was conducted by Tigray some individuals were identified who have been involved in stealing of the aid now reportedly talks are underway for the resumption of this aid delivered to Ethiopia uh as world food program announced a few days ago that in july the aid supply could resume but two conditions are being uh, laid out by usaid and world food program two main conditions will ethiopian government tegarai regional government agree to these two conditions of uh, usaid and world food program will try to analyze in this video which two conditions are being laid out by USAID World Food Program. Firstly, viewers, uh, Tigray Eritrea border, which is Ethiopia Eritrea border. I have been saying for days, viewers, that for lasting peace between Tigray and Eritrea, between Ethiopia and Eritrea, border issue must be resolved. Border must be demarcated. Tigray regional government, Eritrean government, Ethiopian federal government all will have to sit at the table to resolve this issue once and for all. This is the way forward if uh, these parties want lasting peace. Otherwise, we'll keep on seeing tensions in border areas. Tigray says, its territories are illegally occupied by Eritrean military. Eritrea uh, remains silent most of the time, but Eritrean government-backed activists say that Eritrean forces on, on Eritrean land. And some say that uh, Eritrean military has unilaterally enforced the decision of a boundary commission, which announced a decision around two decades ago about demarcation of uh, ethiopia eritrea border that decision could not be implemented back then eritrea accused ethiopia that ethiopia was violating the decision it was against the implementation of uh, the decision so there are tensions in border areas because uh, border areas border is not properly demarcated now uh, a new story for you from shiraro Shiraro was the first town which came under Eritrean military control in the third round of fighting last year. And it was uh, one of the last towns from the Eritrean military withdrew. So Shiraro is not under Eritrean military control now. It is under the control of Tigray interim government. Ethiopian National Defense Force is also deployed in and near Shiraro. Tigray fighters are there too in the home of Tigray police. Tigray forces disbanded, we know that, but uh, Tigray police was formed and Tigray fighters were then integrated into Tigray police. There is Tigray police deployed in and near Shiraro. 
and Tegarai local government officials, Tegarai administration is also there in and near Shiraru. Yesterday, sounds of gunfire were heard in Shiraru for hours reportedly and uh, heavy gunfire sounds were heard. People uh, were worried because they have experience of a two-year-long war. No one wants resumption of hostilities uh, on the border. Uh, Tegarai people have suffered a lot. Since then, rumors are being spread. People are sharing conspiracy theories. Uh, but gunfire was heard, uh, heavy gunfire for hours. So what happened there? Was there any exchange of gunfire between Tigray fighters and Eritrean military, Tigray fighters and uh, Ethiopian military, even Ethiopian National Defense Force and Eritrean military? No one clearly knows. Some Tigrayan activists are sharing a conspiracy theory. They claim that an ENDF commander, uh, which is in charge of the area, he ordered this uh, shooting. Purpose was to create misunderstanding between Tigray fighters and Eritrean military. And uh, the activist claims that uh, some members of uh, Doctor Without Borders, an organization, uh, were uh, taken hostage. Uh, they were arrested by Eritrean military in this area. They remained in detention for several hours. Later, they uh, were released. So these Tigrayan activists are spreading conspiracy theories. No statement from Ethiopian or federal government or Eritrean government. But uh, I got in touch with uh, a, a person from Eritrean side and he said that uh, Eritrean military was conducting uh, artillery drills uh, near Badme, very close to border. I don't know what was the purpose in conducting these military drills close to border. Badme uh, disputed, uh, though I think it was granted to Eritrea uh, by the Boundary Commission. Uh, but uh, still tension is there. So, Tigray activists say that Ethiopian National Defense Force is behind this shooting which happened yesterday. Eritrea are silent but some sources say military drills were conducted on Eritrean side of Eritrea Tigray border, very close to border. By the way, drills are not mostly conducted close to border. It's uh, a way of uh, provoking your neighbor. Countries don't conduct drills very close to border. Uh, and it only happens when there are tensions between two countries or when the two countries jointly conduct drills. What was the point in conducting naval, uh, in conducting uh, artillery drills uh, near Badme? It's not clear. So, either the sounds of uh, heavy sounds of gunshots heard in Badme were related to the military deals conducted on Eritrea side of Eritrea Ethiopia border, or there was actual uh, gunfire, maybe exchange of gunfire. It's difficult to say. Strange things are happening on Ethiopia Eritrea border, Tregra Eritrea border. If you remember a few days ago, some MiG uh, planes were seen flying over Ethiopia Eritrea border, Tigray Eritrea border, and no one knows. The planes were seen flying over uh, Adwa, uh, Shere too reportedly, and then same planes were seen flying over Makale too. Were the planes from Ethiopian Air Force or from Eritrean military Air Force? It's not clear. Though my understanding was that the planes were from Ethiopian Air Force, though it's not clear. No one is sharing anything about what is happening in terms of flights on Ethiopia Eritrea border. Is Ethiopian Air Force monitoring the border because there could be uh, movement in border areas? Some Tigray activists claim that, uh, Tigray journalists claim that. Uh, Eritrean military was sending reinforcements, shipments of weapons uh, for Amhara fighters in West Tigray. 
their claim rumors i'm not saying saying it's happening so why were uh, the planes uh, ethiopian or arab planes were seen flying over the border the gravity about again silence no uh, statement from any of the three parties tigray interim government ethiopian federal government and eritrean government but sounds of gunfire uh, were heard for hours in shiraro uh, yesterday second level your resumption of aid to ethiopia resumption of food aid to ethiopia two preconditions of the usaid and world food program they are not willing to restore supply of food items to ethiopia without these two preconditions fulfilled what are the two preconditions will ethiopian government tigray interim government agree to the fulfillment of these two conditions by the way tigray is showing signs of cooperation with usaid and world food program tigray has already conducted an internal inquiry into uh, aid theft which happened and tigray accused the, the inquiry officer accused all parties including eritrean military tigray regional structures ethiopian federal structures that all were involved in theft of flower theft of oil etc ethiopian federal government has not shared anything so far is federal government conducting an any inquiry into the aid theft allegation leveled by usa rebel food program i have not seen a statement from ethiopian federal government about an ongoing investigation or about finalization of uh, the inquiry it means that gov- ethiopian government is dragging its feet it does not want to hold an inquiry or inquiry is being conducted but its pace is very slow reportedly usaid and world food program they want to resume supply of aid to ethiopia but they want two preconditions to be met firstly they want to ensure that USAID and World Food Program compile a list of beneficiaries. They don't want uh, inflated lists. That is what happened uh, when aid was stolen in the two-year-long war. That the lists were prepared by local officials, federal, regional government officials. They were preparing lists, and the lists contained those beneficiaries too, which did not actually exist. first precondition second precondition is about biometric verification of beneficiaries the two organizations want that uh, beneficiaries which will receive aid they'll have to be verified biometrically so so that no one can receive aid uh, just by being included uh, on the list of beneficiaries Ethiopian government will it allow Tigray government will it allow USAID and World Food Program to compile lists of beneficiaries that remains to be seen it's too early to say if the two uh, if if regional and federal governments will agree to give this uh, role to aid organizations in Ethiopia obviously if aid organizations compile lists it means they'll have to say in uh, deciding who should be given aid who shouldn't be given aid governments wants uh, governments want to have this power in their hands will they transfer this power to aid organizations or will they uh, try to form a mechanism with participation of local government officials and aid staff uh, to jointly work uh, to compile lists that remains to be seen so far talks underway by the way uh, aid food aid supply to tigray should resume as soon as possible tigray regional government says that people are dying from hunger in tigray numbers are being shared that more than 700 have died since aid suspension we don't know if the numbers are correct or not but to where 90% of people are dependent on food aid and food aid is suspended delivery of food aid you can imagine yes there would be deaths there are deaths happening so that is why i think uh, usaid world food program should uh, accelerate this process of resumption of food at the same time federal government should show interest in 
giving uh, a more uh, giving more importance to USAID and World Program in deciding who will receive food aid. Let's see. Thank you for watching.